Hello, welcome to this training series on Sonar 7 Producer Edition, brought to you by Software Video. There's a lot to learn, so let's get started. When you first open up your copy of Sonar 7, you get a workspace area that looks like this. Along the top here, you'll see your standard menu bar with your menus such as File, View, Transport, Tools, Options, and Help. Below that, you have your toolbar, and below that, you have this other toolbar right here. You have two different toolbars. In this program, you can open up many different toolbars, and we'll be looking at all of the various toolbars in a later lesson. And right below those toolbars, we have our transport bar, and right underneath the transport bar, we have our workspace. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a file. We'll go to File, New, and in here, we're going to start a new project file. I'll just call this new one. And you can see here we have the location, the audio path. Make sure to check store project audio in its own folder. And right here we have some various templates. There's a whole bunch of templates to choose from. For this example, we're going to choose blank, no tracks or buses, so that we can go ahead and start working from scratch and creating our own. So we'll click that one and click OK. So now it opens up a brand new project and what we can do is we can move the track bar a little bit out of the way so we can see what we're doing here. So inside of our project we're in the track view and you know along the top here we have some various tools to work with on our project. Right here we can go ahead and right click and we can insert our tracks. We'll start by inserting an audio track and you'll notice we can go to our audio track, double click and we could rename this. For example, we could call this new and hit enter. And if we go over here, you can see that this turns the track layers on or off. You can restore it to the strip size and you can see that we have all of this information right here to look at. And right here you can actually maximize it so it takes up all of your screen. You'll notice if I just bring this up that it's this whole panel area. So we can go back and minimize that again. Now let's right click again. We can insert a MIDI track. And again, we have a few different options for the MIDI tracks. You'll notice right now we have the PVR mode here, as well as the track layers, and then the, mac the restore and the maximize strip. So if I click this, you can see that we, we can um, restore it, or we can maximize it as well. And again, you can rename this one. We'll just call this MIDI. And again, You'll notice right here these little icons that show you that it, this one is a audio track and this one is a MIDI track. All right, so if we go down here to our bus pane, we can right click and choose to insert a stereo bus or a surround bus. So we'll go ahead and choose insert stereo bus. And again, it's very much like our tracks. You know, you have the icon right here that shows that it's a bus. Again, you can restore the strip size. We'll go ahead and scroll this down. And you can also maximize it. So let's go ahead and restore that back to small. And that is your basic workspace in Sonar 7.